As you can see, Beijing is incredibly beautiful. The flowers are all in bloom and the culture is as rich as anybody could expect. So one thing you shouldn't miss when you're in China, and Beijing in particular, is the incredible parks. There are so many incredible parks like Beihai Park, Zhangsheng Park, and they're so massive inside that it's so easy to get lost in them. Anywhere out of days in Beijing, I actually took advantage of the city itself, wandered through hutongs, basically checked out what there was to see in Beijing because often when you're traveling, the most, your favorite part of the whole trip is not usually the big landmarks like Tiananmen Square, the Forbidden City, but it's actually just talking with the people and experiencing local culture. So these next highlights for me are the historical monuments. So Tiananmen Square, um, I did a little bit of the Great Wall, but I actually have a separate video coming out for the Great Wall because it truly was the highlight of my trip. I ended up staying with a local family and hiking the wall and was completely unrestored and there was nobody else up there. It was really, truly incredible. Other things that I was really excited to see in China were things like the Great Wall of China, Tiananmen Square, Mao's Mausoleum, the Forbidden City, because hitting all of these landmarks, that was truly my idea of what a trip to China should look like. Touch on your skin. Loving my vision, seeing the same film again Closer you pull me under the table A sign of how this might end Now, the Temple of Heaven itself was actually pretty mar remarkable. You know, it wasn't anything too, too special. It wasn't really massive. It wasn't beautifully decorated. But there was something about the way how the smog just kind of lingered around the golden top that made it look heavenly you could truly understand why it was called the Temple of Heaven. Along the way in the park, you can hear all of these people singing and you can see them dancing. Um, there was flag dancing, line dancing, sword dancing, Tai Chi in the park. And <laughs> favorite part of Tiananmen Square was actually going into Mao's mausoleum. When you're waiting in line to actually come up to the mausoleum, you can buy flowers for Mao. When you come into the actual mausoleum, there's a huge statue of Mao. You lay your flowers by his feet and people were praying to him and bowing. And it was really an authentic Chinese experience. I think the coolest part about my whole experience was actually the incredible people that I met along the way. I made my friend Chef who tagged along with me to the Temple of Heaven, Sebastian, who I actually went to the Forbidden City with, I hiked the Great Wall with, and I spent most of my days in Beijing with. Yeah, last couple of days in Beijing before flying home, I actually met three francophones from Quebec. We actually went to Wenfujing Food Street, which is a crazy food market, and they're selling scorpions that you can eat, and some of them are still alive, which is crazy. I would never eat one alive, but I did actually eat one dead. Once. Chew into it. Don't be afraid. Come on, bite it. Hang it. Oh, 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 you oh eat it. Eat it. Eat, eat it. it. Eat, eat it. it. <laughs> eat it off the ground. Yes. You know, it is a little bit touristy. 
Um, to find the actual food street, you kind of have to turn left off of the big main road where there's lots of lights and lots of things going on to this little kind of private street. So the bugs were kind of like a little bit of a tourist trap and I did have a grasshopper and they just, it tastes kind of like dry a little bit and crunchy, but it's not bad. It doesn't really taste like anything. Overall, this trip was simply incredible. I am so thankful that I went and I had this experience. You know, I did go through really hard times, but I also experienced China, authentic Beijing. And that was remarkable and I'm so grateful for that experience. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.